I wanted to write some comments on the Module 1 discussion board. I had a chance to read through all of them, and I provided some comments to, I, I believe, everyone, and welcomed you all to the class. And so for the most part, the discussion board uh, comments seemed to be good. I wanted to provide a little bit of feedback around uh, some of the concepts I think weren't quite understood, as well as make sure that while you don't have to use the Queen's grammar and the Queen's English, uh, please try to keep the grammar and spelling correct. I didn't take off any points this time for uh, improper grammar, incomplete sentences, uh, or poor spelling, but in the future I will do so. So I'm going to be following the rubric that's posted on the discussion board uh, in order to grade the discussion board assignments. The, the grading should be done by the end of this week so you can get a sense for um, how things went. There will also be uh, a facilitator who is helping me grade. Her name is Ashwari Deshmukh. I will send an email with her contact information. If you have specific questions about the grades around the discussion board uh, assignments, feel free to email her. And if, if you still aren't satisfied, of course, reach out to me. I'm, I'm always available. Um, a few comments. The opportunity cost. Uh, it's not true that there's no opportunity cost. So a few people mentioned that they, they have no opportunity cost for pursuing that, the, the degree. And that's just not true. So even if you would have stayed at home and watched TV uh, or um, you know slept, uh, all of those have a cost associated with them. And and I also want to be precise about what the definition of opportunity cost is. The opportunity cost is the value of the next best alternative. So it's not the sum of all your costs or the things that you could have been doing. So some people talked about, I could have been doing X and Y and Z, and opportunity cost is the sum of all those, and, it, and that's not the case. The opportunity cost is just the, the value of the next best alternative, or what you would have been doing had you not been taking this online class. Um, the opportunity cost does not include direct costs, uh, such as parking, paying for textbooks. Those are explicit costs. Uh, and we certainly include those when we calculate our return on investment and determine what the break-even point is, uh, but those items, uh, those costs are not opportunity costs, those are uh, direct or explicit costs. Um, when you were asked to calculate the return on investment, uh, I did ask people to um, have some sense of what their expected return was going to be in terms of higher wages, higher salary, a new type of job. Um, you didn't necessarily have to do uh, a complete analysis on understanding what the pay is, but uh, I wanted something more than just saying, I, I hope to get a 10% increase uh, in my earnings, or I hope to be promoted upon graduation. I wanted you to provide actual evidence of, I went to salary.com and saw what a person with uh, an MBA made, or I talked to people at my firm and found out that when I get an MBA, uh, I receive a raise of 20%. So I, I did want you to provide some justification for uh, the expected return. Um, also, for some people who did the research, uh, you know, notice that if you go to salary.com and look at the average salary for a particular position, typically that's looking at the average salary. Uh, so if you're becoming uh, or just entering this position, then you, you might not have the years of experience or the justification for that average salary. Uh, you might be at a, a lower salary on the distribution. Uh, uh, some students only wrote a couple paragraphs, uh, and that was fine, so long as you wrote at least 150 words and you got the concept that you understood opportunity costs, you calculated the return on investment, uh, and you uh, communicated that succinctly, that's fine. Uh, some people wrote quite a bit more, and that's fine too. Uh, feel free to take as much time as it, it takes to adequately explain uh, what you're trying to convey. So uh, the writing assignment that's due this week, uh, I've asked you to post your initial response by today at 11.59. And then I do want to encourage dialogue and interaction between students in the classroom. So uh, by Sunday night at 11.59, be sure to write a response post to one of the, uh, your fellow classmates' posts uh, that you find interesting. Uh, so, enjoy having you in class, and I'm enjoying getting to know some of you. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me uh, or, or give me a call. That's fine. Uh, my number is 513-556-2491. I apologize for the inconvenience on Sunday with the ebook. Hopefully, with the extension, that was uh, able to help some of you all out. Um, one more thing, I'm going to send an email about this as well. 
uh, on Thursday from 4.30 to 5.30, the facilitator for this class, Ashawari, uh, will be available in the student lounge discussion board. So she'll be able to immediately respond to any questions. If you have questions about the homework assignment, you have questions about the discussion board to make sure that you're getting across the concept. She'll be uh, online and, and available to respond immediately. So we can sort of create a, a live chat on Thursday from 4.30 to 5.30 uh, in the student lounge. So if you want to come to that, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, but again, I, I'm always available via email or phone if you want to just reach out and give me a call. All right, thanks a lot. Hope you guys are having a great week.